World Cup is big business for those brands who have bought the rights to sell their goods in the various stadiums and fan parks around the country. One of these is McDonald's and joining me to chat about their association is Tim Fenton. He's president of McDonald's for the Asia Pacific, Middle East and Africa region. Tim, thanks com for coming in. Exciting times. I hope you're going to catch some of the action while you've done in South Africa. Yeah, pleasure to be here. We're going to be at the opening ceremony tonight and uh, we're going to catch the first game tomorrow afternoon with uh, South Africa and Mexico. Right. Tell me, what sort of investment have you made in the World Cup and why does McDonald's like to associate itself with big sporting events like this? Sure. Well, we don't, we don't talk about the, the, the contract that we have with FIFA. Uh, I can tell you why we do it, though. Uh, we're obviously uh, a global company uh, and uh, our customers all over the world uh, love football uh, and it's an opportunity for us to help uh, uh, bring World Cup uh, to uh, uh, the fans all over the world. Uh, we are a leader in our industry, and leaders take the, the lead sometimes, and this is what we is expect of that, with, as well as with the, the Olympics. So we're very excited, and I'm excited about the buzz in South Africa, just driving around and seeing it here. I'm sure this isn't your first time here. How have you seen it change for the World Cup? In South Africa? Uh, you know, obviously the infrastructure, uh, you know, the stadiums. I was here a month ago when we saw the stadium down in, in uh, Cape Town, obviously the one, the one here in Johannesburg, the new uh, train wheel, uh, uh, speed train. Um, so I, I think it's great. I think it's exciting. And uh, the pride is, uh, is bubbling over with South Africans. Well, you can't talk about the investment that you make in, in the World Cup um, because of the contract with FIFA. How about the return on investment? What do you get out of this? Yeah, sure. that, that's a question that's asked so many times. It's really hard to quantify something like that. Sometimes you do some stuff because you are the leader. Uh, the return we get is, is you know, we have customers love football, customers love, our customers love McDonald's. It's an opportunity for us to help bring it to them. And of course, you know, the, the uh, uh, promotions that we run in almost every country around the world uh, supporting the World Cup and FIFA uh, has been very exciting for the business. So how have you actually activated yourself in your various markets for the World Cup, not just in South Africa, but in your other markets, as, as you say? Well, one of the biggest things we have is our, is our uh, um, we, we are bringing 1,400 kids from all over the world as our uh, escort, uh, player escort, where they get to walk out on the pitch with one of their favorite players. Uh, you know, uh, South Africa, for example, uh, had a promotion last month and gave out 2,000 tickets to the World Cup. Uh, you've got countries all over the world that are doing World Cup promotions with, uh, you know, we're doing it in, in Asia with, uh, with uh, Coca-Cola and World Cup glasses, uh, special sandwiches being, uh, you know, uh, themed after the World Cup. Um, it's an exciting time. I mean, it's, uh, we've, we've got a lot of our restaurants uh, that are, are 24 hours that we put big screen televisions in and made them a theater, if you will. So uh, it, it's a great, it's a great time for us. It's because of course it's not just the, the burgers you might sell at stadiums, it's also, uh, we have all of these foreign visitors in the country who are going to be eating at McDonald's, it's a familiar brand. Absolutely. How many more burgers would you expect to sell over a tournament like this? I, I don't know, I can tell you this though, our sales the last, uh, last week have been fantastic here. We've had a great run here in South Africa the last five years, but really some, some great numbers uh, in visitors. I mean, we have over 60 million people visiting McDonald's every day uh, around the globe. Um, they're just now uh, visiting different branches because they're traveling. Yeah, well, you know, it's familiarity. Tell us a bit about the player escort program. 1,400 kids, you said. How many of those are going to be from South Africa? 1,200. How do you choose these kids? They do different ways. Some essays, uh, some fill out a form, and we do a, a, a raffle, if you will. Uh, we've got 1,200 from South Africa, and the other the remaining are coming from all over the, the rest of the world. We had a bunch of them today at our press conference. It was just touching and exciting to talk to the kids and to talk to, uh, uh, talk to the, uh, the parents who were just over, over, you know, overwhelmed. You also have the Fan Dancers program. What's the Fan Dancers program? Fan Dancers, where uh, we picked uh, several of the, the local folks to, uh, you know, come out and do the dance. They did it for us today. They'll be doing it on the pitch. Uh, uh, really did a nice job with it. Um, so we're, you know, we're excited to see all that stuff. South Africa as a market for McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Of course, you came in here uh, just over 10 years ago. What sorts of growth have you seen here? What's your plans for South Africa? Well, we have a, about 135 restaurants right now. We'll open an additional 13 this year. Uh, and we plan to open another 100 over the next five years. Uh, so we'll, we'll basically double the market in the next, in the next five years. And you think there is the appetite for all those McDonald's? Yeah, you know, the business here has been, has been very robust. Uh, last five years we've had, you know, pr pretty good sales, double-digit growth year in and year out. How does that compare with your other uh, franchises outside of South Africa but still in Sub-Saharan Africa? Uh, well, our area of the world is probably the fastest growing. We've, we've had, you know, great sales and, and great same-store sales in almost every one of our countries. I'd say that South Africa is probably above the average. Competition in the market? Uh, competition is healthy, you know. Uh, uh, you know, it, it keeps us on our toes. Tim, we have to leave it there. Thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you. Good luck in the tournament.
Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy watching it.